I've been meaning to make a video about how I started running as a complete beginner. I've no idea of the time. I've no idea of the pace. My app stopped at 12 miles. It wasn't fast, but I finished. And I finished running quite literally the best race. That's the best thing I've ever done. I've covered it in previous videos, such as my first marathon training, but I didn't go into too much detail then. When I started running in October 2020, I was 40 years old and weighed approximately 22 stone. This is day 30. That's it. 30 minutes, done. At this point, I'd already lost about four stone training and walking two ultra marathon distances. I made videos about these, you should watch them. So as you know, I've entered into Race of the Stones 2019. Race of the Stones itself is 62 miles long across two days. My name is Ryan Condon and I'll be walking my very own 10 mile loop for charity and I'll be doing it six times. That's a total of 60 miles, and I'll be doing this non-stop. In all honesty, I've struggled to adequately describe my training and weight loss journey in my videos. I never started this channel as a running channel, it's just what I found myself doing and I love to do it. I've made videos about family holidays and trips and stuff like that. I've now made about 15 running videos at the point this video was uploaded and none of them on their own highlight the effort and determination it took to start running. If you're watching this video, it's probably because you're looking to start running in some way. For me initially, it was a way to help me lose weight, but I soon realized it was also a huge positive step forward for my mental health, and I fell in love with it as well. Okay, it's filming. So what, have we, what have we got for dinner? Bolognese. Spaghetti bolognese. Vegan. Vegan. Meat creamings. I will caveat that any form of physical exercise isn't enough on its own. You also need to look at your lifestyle, which includes nutrition. But for this video, I'm just going to cover the Couch to 5K challenge. And maybe leave lifestyle out for another day. And garlic bread. Very nice. I hadn't heard of Couch to 5K back in October 2020. I have had a few friends attempt it and stop either midway through or complete it, and then that was the end of their running phase. I'm intrigued to see how helpful it would have been for me if I'd have tried it when I started running for the first time. I can see the finish, Matt. I can see the finish. You see, I can't go back in time and try it from scratch as a complete beginner. Last year, I ran over 1,700 miles in my crash course attempt to run a marathon distance non stop. Come on. Yay! There's the finish. Oh, job. Well done, sir. Well done. Before I wrote this script, I typed Couch to 5K into YouTube. I've now watched 14 YouTube videos that all have Couch to 5K in the title or description in some capacity. I stopped at 14 videos because with an average watch time of 15 minutes per video, that was over three and a half hours of viewing. And I still genuinely didn't know what the Couch to 5K challenge actually involved. So today is Saturday the 8th of June. This is my second attempt at running. Doing just over five miles, and I've got just over a month until this year's race of stones. At this point, I've lost approximately three stone. I want to get another stone off in the next 30 days. So I'm going to try and attempt to share what the Couch to 5K is, how I would attempt it, and its benefits in real time. 
Back in October 2020, I did the 30-30 challenge, where I ran for 30 minutes every day for 30 days without a rest day. That's a whole month of consecutive daily 30-minute running. It was hard and grueling, but I really enjoyed it. That's it. That's 30 days of 30 minutes running complete. When taking on a running challenge as a complete beginner, you have to 100% commit to it. My best tip and secret to ensuring you don't fail is tell absolutely everyone you know about your challenge. Tell your family, work colleagues and friends. Your biggest risk to failure will be you and how easily you allow excuses and rationalizations to creep into your training. I have about 10 favorite quotes. But my favourite running quote was said by Lazarus Lake, the founder of the brutal Barkley Marathons and Biggs Backyard Ultra. If you don't know about these races, Google them. They're unbelievable. He famously said, if you're going to face a real challenge, it has to be a real challenge. You can't accomplish anything without the possibility of failure. You see, out of your family, work, colleagues and friends, you will have three types of people. Those that will know you well enough to believe that you'll complete it. These will be about 1% of people you know, probably close family and friends. Yeah, it's recording. Okay, so what have we got ready for when he gets um, back? I'm going to make another one of these. We've got him some squares crisps, fruit and nut mix, big pot of watermelon. And non-diet Coke. Some Coca-Cola. Coke. And then what have we got cooking? Pasta. Pasta. Then there'll be those that don't want to seem negative, but will tell you what you want to hear. These will be the vast majority of people you know. Obviously, this isn't a science. But this is okay. You need these groups of people for this tactic to work in your favour. Use these groups to your advantage. Announce it in all your social media sites, Instagram, Twitter, etc. Don't keep the challenge a secret. It is a tough old bloody thing to do. So we try and do them. And I say to anyone out there who wants to do something, just put a, if it's just a 5K, just put it in the diary and tell all your friends you're gonna do it. And then you kind of feel that you have to do it and then you'll do it. Ryan. I've run hundreds of informal 5k and 10k runs. I'm currently running about 100 miles a month and I ran my first marathon last year. However, according to the NHS website, I'm still a beast, still very much overweight and I'm still very much on my running journey. I still weigh far too much, even though I've now lost over 10 stone. I'm just adding this for context. I can't claim to be a new runner anymore. However, I'm not that far off and I'm still intrigued to see if the Couch to 5K challenge would have been better than the 30-30 challenge I started with. I'm not a fast runner. My 5K PB is currently six minutes, 54 seconds per kilometer, which is 34 minutes, 31 seconds. So I'd like to see if this challenge will help me improve this. Before I start this challenge, I'm gonna have some basic rules that I'm gonna follow. I think it's important to set guidelines that you need to stick to. I'm gonna to try to stick to my local area. It makes it easier, not having to think about routes and save time. Helps improve time as an excuse. I'm going to download and use the NHS Couch to 5K app and podcast. I'll listen to the podcast when I'm out on my sessions. The app will give me walk and then run intervals. I'm initially going to ensure that the run intervals will be at a pace where I can still talk. These rules are important. The three biggest barriers to failure that I will face will be time, so my work, family or social commitments getting in the way of the running challenge. 
overcomplication of the challenge, making it laborious or too much effort to complete, and exhaustion slash fitness levels, pushing myself too hard too early or being too strict when things don't go to plan. The link for the podcast and the NHS Couch to 5K website will be in the description. I just want to add one more tip. If you're going to take on this challenge or if you're going to do anything that involves running, buy yourself a decent pair of running trainers. They don't need to be the best on the market, but I certainly wouldn't buy the cheapest. Do some research, maybe even get your feet measured. A decent pair of trainers make all the difference. It reduces the risk of injury, blisters, that sort of thing. There's nothing worse than having to focus on the challenge, but spending your entire time thinking about the blister on your little toe. So just just buy yourself a decent pair of trainers. That's it. And the battery lights flickering.